Good evening. We talk about Islam, Quran, uh, Hadith, Surah, Leva Muhammad. It means this, it means that. Is there a God, isn't there a God? None of this really matters, whether there is or is not a God even. What matters is the law that is left behind and how it treats people. On the 20th of July last year, Prime Minister Cameron swore down that female genital mutilation, forced marriage and the narrative of jihad must be got rid of. Now all they have done, all the world leaders, well, quite true, the Eastern Europeans seem to be awake, is expose their own ignorance of the true situation of Western civilization, of democracy. <coughs> all that matters is the law. This is a reliance of the traveller, a classic manual of Islamic sacred law, the Sharia. When you stand in court and your barrister says, legal point, your honour, they pull out a book, read through it, is that right, is that not right? This is the Sharia one. To start at the very beginning, the Shahada to deliver his inspired message to the entire world superseding and abrogating all previous religious systems with the prophets a man sacred law Allah has favoured him above all other prophets and made him the highest of mankind, rejecting anyone's attesting to the divine oneness by saying, There is no God but Allah, unless they also attest to the prophet by saying, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and does not accept anyone's faith unless they believe in what he has told us. So, we are now being abrogated, being overruled. Our law system becomes Sharia. That is what the Shahada means. Our law system is to be overruled. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Muhammad's law. So, Prime Minister, where do we go from here? Just to prove how people obey these laws shavings one's beard is unlawful according to all imams so a Muslim with a beard is obeying Sharia law it's part of the Sharia grow a beard I don't have a problem with that I don't think many people do now Prime Minister Cameron <clears throat> Section E 4.3 Circumcision is obligatory. Excuse me, Mr. Cameron. Did you just make Sharia law illegal in Britain? Being as Islam is Sharia law, there is no God but Allah. And Muhammad is the prophet of Allah, the law system given to supersede all our laws. <coughs> Religion is a voluntary act. 
section F1 2 when a child with discrimination meaning he can eat drink and clean himself after using the toilet unassisted is seven years of age he is ordered to perform the prayer when ten he is beaten for neglecting the prayer Islam is beaten into them from childhood nice this isn't it someone raised among Muslims who denies the obligatories of prayer zakat fasting Ramadan pilgrimage the unlawfulness of wine and adultery or denies something else upon which scholarly there is scholarly consensus thereby becomes an unbeliever kafir and is executed for his unbelief section f1.3 it is not voluntary it is beaten into them and if they disagree they are killed Sharia law this is uh, sanctioned by Al-Aqsa Mosque of Amman in Jordan stamped with the Al-Aqsa Mosque stamp of the Egyptian University Islamic Vatican Section F56. It is recommended for a woman to wear a covering over her head. No problem. A full length shift and a heavy slip under which doesn't cling to her body. Modest dressing. It is recommended for a man to pray in his ankle length shirt. Ankle length shirt with either the mantle or loose drawers. So, <clears throat> Muslim women are wearing long gowns, men are wearing the pyjamas. It's not traditional dress. It is Sharia dress, Sharia obedience. So, he's now got a beard, he's wearing the pyjamas, and his lady is wearing the head covering and the flowing gowns following Sharia law probably by now the lady has had circumcision done on her as well <coughs> facing the direction of prayer is a necessary condition for the prayer's validity well I can attest to this because there's even adders on the ceilings in the prison cells yeah they are demanding they know which way to pray for Allah so their prayer are valid more obedience to the Sharia Islam is the Sharia law it's very little religion in it <coughs> okay we are now allowing all over London Birmingham Luton all over the uh, country burkas to be worn the head coverings half a dozen different names for them and the majority of scholars this is in uh, section uh, m2.3 a majority of scholars with the exception of some okay holding that it is unlawful for women to leave the house with their faces unveiled Scholars unanimously concur that it is unlawful. Temptation, meaning anything <coughs> that leads to sexual intercourse. Now, where in the world is the uh, burqa most common? Wahhabi, Salafi, Saudi, Islam. Or, Taliban, Diabandi Islam we are allowing Taliban 
and Saudi law into our democracy. What the hell is going on? So, we go on to another point of Prime Minister Cameron's speech on the 20th of uh, July last year. Actually, huge proportions of the Prime Minister's speech was copy and paste out of the English Defence League's mission statement. Go read both of them. There's huge tracts that the Prime Minister spoke that the English Defence League totally agree with. But we are far-right extremists. Forced marriage. Section M3.13 Whenever the bride is a virgin, the father or father's father may marry her to someone without her permission. Though it is recommended to ask her if she has reached puberty, pre-pubescent marriage is legal. A virgin's silence is considered permission. Now we've already talked about the fact that they can be beaten up. You know, if your dad, your brother, your uncle are whacking you all the time, are you going to open your mouth and say no? When you're 10, 11, prepubescent. As for a non-virgin of sound mind, no one were, may marry her to another after she has reached puberty. More prepubescent marriage, child abuse, sex. Now there's a, there's a 40 minute program on this, okay. The Prime Minister said, we must challenge the extremist narrative okay so now we're not allowing FGM we're not allowing forced marriage section 091 jihad is a com communal obligation what those of the believers who are Unhurt, unhurt, which means physically fit. This is not an internal jihad. This is a physical jihad. But sit behind are not equal to those who fight. You know, so if you don't go fight, you're not as good a Muslim as one who does. Jihad is personally obligatory upon all. 09.2 Provided one is fit to fight. If unable because of illness or the death of one's mount, one no longer has a weapon. Again, this is not a religious, personal debate with your deity. This is war. O nine dot three. Jihad is also obligatory for everyone. O oh, nine four. Those called upon to perform jihad when it is a communal obligation, uh, every able-bodied man who has reached puberty. Object 
perspectives of jihad. <laughs> Sharia law, you know, the one that FGM, forced marriage, beards, pyjamas, this is, these are all signals that these people are obeying Sharia law. <clears> 098 <throat> The Caliph makes war upon Christians and Jews. The religion of peace. What the hell is going on, Mr. Trump? Fight those who do not believe in Allah <clears throat> and the last day. And who forbid not what Allah and his messenger has forbidden. Who do not practice the religion of truth. Being of those who have been given the book. Until they pay the poll tax. Out of hand and are humbled. Sharia law also Quran 929. Now, <laughs> the benefits rate of Muslims in this country is colossal. Something like 75% unemployment. Jizya, we are paying their protection tax. 09.9. The Caliph fights all other peoples until they become Muslims. Buy the book. Look this up. It's on it's on a PDF, it's a big one. But it, you can download it and print it. 09.13. When a child or a woman is taken captive, they become slaves. The fact of capture, the woman's previous marriage, is immediately annulled. Now this goes back to days of uh, Muhammad taking uh, prisoners during his wars. <clears throat> and his fighters didn't want to commit adultery. So by annulling the marriage, of the women captured. They can be raped without adultery. When an adult male is taken captive, the Caliph considers the interests of Islam and the Muslims and decides between the prisoner's death, slavery, release or ransom. If the prisoner becomes a Muslim, the Caliph chooses any of the four alternatives, but he may not kill him. So, you can save your neck by converting, but you can still be a slave. Enslaved. He spent 300 years getting rid of slavery. 300 years. How many people died in America to get rid of slavery? We went into sub-Saharan Africa. Gold and coal and diamonds and ivory. But also, the missionaries went in to stop Islam. To stop slavery. Ah! Mr. Trump and Mr. Cameron and any other person who has signed the nuclear treaty with Iran. 0916 As for truce, truces, in sacred law, truth means a peace treaty with those hostile to Islam, involving a cessation of fighting for a specified period. What, what the Iranian deal? Eight years, two years, whatever, you know, specified. Again, that comes from the life of Mahadi, the Treaty of Herbadaya, something like that. 10 year treaty that he held for two years when he conquered Mecca. <coughs> Interests. Oh, where are we? We're still on 09162. Interests that justify making a truce are such things as Muslim weakness because of lack of numbers 
or material or the hope of an enemy becoming Muslim. Lack of numbers. So when you immigrate and you're in a country and you're a huge minority, you're a peace, you have a treaty, so you don't get picked on. Or material. Oh, I haven't quite finished making my atom bomb yet. So I will make a treaty. Or for the hope of the enemy becoming Muslim. So now what we do is we take over the universities. We teach the Kappa teachers that Islam is nice. They teach our children that Islam is nice. They don't tell them about the enslaving, the forced marriage, the FGM. A hundred year plot for a Muslim Brotherhood. <laughs> Justice. Oh. 11.5 This is when Islam's in charge and you're not a Muslim. Non-Muslim subjects are obliged to comply with Islamic rules. In addition, so you've got to apply with Sharia law. <coughs> in addition, they are to distinguish themselves from Muslims in dress by wearing a wide cloth belt. You know, the Star of David for the Jews. Was it the pink star or the triangle for the gays? Different badges for different people. Nazism. In Sharia law. Must keep to the side of the street. So the Muslim pushes the Kaffir to one side. You are not allowed to walk in the dry bit, you have to walk in the gutter because you are a second class citizen, you kaffir. Are forbidden to openly display wine or pork, to ring church bells or display crosses. Now, <clears throat> already in Denmark or Sweden, some bloody woman priest is taking the cross down out of a church so as not to offend the Muslims. Now, excuse me, I'm very, very close to swearing at this moment in time. O11.10 <coughs> The agreement is also violated in respect to the offender if the state has stipulated that any of the following things break it round. Right so, commits adultery with a Muslim woman. Now, Christians cannot have sex with Muslim women. You'll see that even now in Britain. Muslim males marrying Kaffir girls, fine. Oh, Christian men marry, marrying uh, Muslim women, honour killings. Leads a Muslim away from Islam. So you can't convert a Muslim away from Islam. This is Sharia law. You must not do it. Or mention something unpermissible by Allah. Bit of a general term, that. But a punishment for these. When a subject's agreement with the state has been violated, the caliph chooses between the four alternatives mentioned above in connection with the prisoners of war. He can kill you. What the hell is going on, Mr. Trump? I'm trying to tell you. <coughs> now, Molenbeek. We have most wanted man in Europe living in plain view. Terrorist. And then... 
when the Belgian police are trying to <sighs> arrest him, the Muslims are rioting and throwing rocks at the police. And then we go to section R 2.63. The Muslim is the brother of the Muslim. Muslim Brotherhood. He does not betray him. Or hang back from coming to his aid. That's why our children have a fight with one Muslim and end up fighting 40 of them. Why a pub in Rotherham has eight kaffirs in it is attacked by 200 Muslims. Or hang back from coming to his aid. <coughs> Lying. So we make treaties, dozens of treaties. We, there is no time limit for our treaties. But when somebody has got rules like this, R82, speaking is a means of it to achieve objectives. Hey! Speaking is a means to achieve objectives. If a praiseworthy aim is attainable through both telling the truth and lying, it is unlawful to accomplish through lying. Because there is no need for it. When it is possible to achieve such an aim by lying but not telling the truth, it is permissible to lie if the goal is permissible. Quran 860 Amass weapons and steeds of war. Weapons. Pretty good one, an atom bomb, isn't it? And obligatory to lie if the goal is obligatory, obligatory to lie. These are the people we are negotiating with. Compulsory jihad. FGM, forced marriage, compulsory jihad. Collect weapons and steeds of war. In such cases, to employ words that give a misleading impression, meaning to intend by one's word something that is literally true, in respect which one is not lying, while the outward purport of the words deceive the hearer. Islam is the religion of peace. But peace will only be achieved when Islam rules everywhere. And even then, back to, see if I can find it. Or denies something else upon which there is scholarly consensus, thereby becomes an unbeliever, kafir, and is executed for his unbelief. So the religion of peace, that is F1.3, the religion of peace, even when it's got power, if you disagree slightly with it, it kills you. The ultimate totalitarian Nazi state. Go on and explain a bit more. 
I was hoping to get this done in five minute bits. I'll get the smaller ones as we as I get better at it. <clears throat> Allah, mighty and majestic, sent me as a guidance and mercy to believers and command me to do away with musical instruments, flutes, strings, crucifixes, <coughs> and the affair of the pre-Islamic period of ignorance. To do away with instruments, flutes, strings, crucifixes, and the affair of pre-Islamic Islamic period of ignorance. <coughs> Palmyra, the utter eradication of everything that's not Islamic. Bamiyan statues, Nalanda Library. Afghanistan used to be Buddhist. Pakistan used to be Hindu. The Hindu Kush mountain range means Hindu slaughter or funeral pyre. The genocide of Islam is colossal. Some estimates at 670 million killed. On the day of resurrection, Allah will pour molten lead into the ears of whoever sits and listens to the songstress. What happened to the Bataclan massacre in Paris? Was it a music festival? There was molten lead, lead, lead flying around that room, slaughtering Kaffirs. Pour molten lead into the ears of whoever sits listening to the songstress. I am at R40.1 brackets 1 and 2. R40.2 It is unlawful to use musical instruments <coughs> like the mandolin, lute, cymbals and flute or to listen to them. <coughs> Stinking kaffir. And Mr. Cameron, you want to get rid of FGM? Fine, so do I. You want to get rid of forced marriage? Fine, so do I. You want to get rid of eternal jihad? Fine, so do, ha so do I. But, W. Four, five. Today I have perfected your religion for you and completed my favour upon you. And I please that your religion is Islam. Quran 5.3 Meaning, so accept it for yourself for it is the religion Allah loves and accepts in which he has sent the best of noble messengers and is revealed in the most sublime of his books. Today I have perfected your religion for you. He has perfected their faith for them so they will never require anything more. He has completed it and will never diminish it is pleased with it and will never detest it you want to get rid of jihad Donald Trump Mr Cameron Holland got to get rid of Islam. <clears throat>